Hi, good day. Welcome back to our class in Biochemistry Laboratory. Today, I will be demonstrating the next activity on the color reactions of proteins. So, last time we were having the elementary composition of proteins, then this time we are going to have the color reactions exhibited by the proteins. For the first procedure in this activity, we're going to have the Biore test. So for the Biore test, we're going to use here the egg albumin solution, which for sure contains a protein. And we are going to add to this the 10% sodium hydroxide. We will use 2 ml of the egg albumin. And we will add to this 10% of sodium hydroxide of equal volume. And to this mixture, we're going to add one drop of the copric sulfate solution. So this is the copric sulfate solution. I want you to observe what happens to the color. The next test is the santoproteic test. In this test, we're going to use the casein and we're going to add it with concentrated nitric acid. And we're going to boil it over the water bath. This is the casein. Then we'll add this with the concentrated nitric acid. And we will put this over the water bath. Then because the casein is already thoroughly dissolved, 
we will cool this for a little bit before we're going to add this with the sodium hydroxide but I want you to take note already of the color of the mixture of the casine and the nitric acid then we're going to add to this cooled already nitric acid with the casein the 40% sodium hydroxide to make it alkaline so we're going to consider this time this red litmus paper dropped into the mixture is we know it's red and uh, we are asked to make it alkaline by adding it with sodium hydroxide when the red litmus paper just turns blue then that is already an indication that our solution is already alkaline. So I have here the 40% sodium hydroxide. So I have here the 40% sodium hydroxide solution. I'm going to add it to the mixture of our nitric acid with the casein. Observe what color is produced. Observe the color produced. The next color reaction that I'm going to demonstrate is the melons test. For the melons test, we are going to use here the egg albumin and we're going to add it with the melons reagent. So I will get again my egg albumin. We're going to use about two ml of the egg albumin. And let's add to this five drops of the Milan's reagent. So this is the Milan's reagent. Observe the color. Then we're going to put this into the water bath and I want you to observe what happens. So this was the melons test. I wanted to observe the color after it has been heated in the water bath. The next color reaction is the lead acetate test. In here, we're going to use again the egg albumin, then we're going to add this with sodium hydroxide and the lead acetate. We'll use again our egg albumin. Let's use only 2 ml of that. And we're going to add to this the 40% sodium hydroxide.
Then we will add to the mixture 10 drops of the lead acetate. So this is the lead acetate. Take note of the color before it is being added with the lead acetate. Let's add 10 drops of the lead acetate. One, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then we're going to place this into the water bath for two minutes. Okay, I want you to observe what happens to the color after heating or boiling this for two minutes in the water bath. The next color reaction that we are going to demonstrate is the Dunkiewicz test. For the Dunkiewicz test, we are going to use here the egg albumin and we are going to add it with the glacial acetic acid. So this is the glacial acetic acid. I'm going to use 5 ml of the glacial acetic acid. Then to this glacial acetic acid, I'm going to add to this the egg albumin. So just three drops of the egg albumin. Let's add one more cup. And we will shake it. After shaking, we're going to slide down the side the concentrated sulfuric acid. Let's fill it a little bit. I want you to observe what happens. Observe what happens. And another color reaction test is the Heller's test. In here, we're going to use the concentrated nitric acid and add it with the egg albumin. Concentrated nitric acid. This is a concentrated nitric acid. Let's use 5 ml of this.
Then let's add to this the egg albumin. I want you to observe what happens. What have you observed? So those are the color reactions exhibited by the proteins. What I would like you to do is to make your observations, to write the observations, and also answer the questions given in the lab guide. I want you to make a formal report about this activity. And please submit your report next week. Those are all for today. This is your teacher, Professor Desitas Ruiz of Holy Name University.